What's going on? My name is Akeem Peterson, and I'm a registered nurse in the state of Georgia. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, take a second and hit that like and subscribe. If you've been on here before, thanks for watching and much blessings. I've been all over the internet looking for information regarding WGU's RN to BSN program, and I couldn't find anything remotely helpful, so I decided to try it out anyway. This video is going to be about the orientation phase for RN to BSN students. Now I'm about to jump over to the computer and show you what you need to do in order to pass the orientation phase. I don't know what happens if you don't pass the orientation phase, but I ain't about to find out. So, with the magic of editing. All right, so now we are on the computer. And I wanted to get on here and show y'all a little bit of the orientation process before you get into the RN BSN program. You have to do what we call orientation. And I'm gonna show y'all how to get to this and how you pass this. And when you do pass this, you will get this. When you do pass your orientation, you'll get one of these in the mail. And what is that? Ah, we become night owls, you feel me? So, this is just my thoughts. And how to pass the orientation process. See a little dough handle, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said, all right. So, it's gonna say start the orientation process, which it can get very confusing, very confusing. Like I said, I, I was on the internet a long time trying to look at people who've been to um, WGU and they did the RN to BSN program, but there ain't too many people out there. I just see people talking about more computers and things like that. So I wanted to do one for the students who had an RN license, um, ASN, uh, associate, whatever you want to call it, and go to a bachelor's degree. So you're going to click the orientation course. All right. Now, before you, before you get into the orientation material right here, See, I didn't did my evaluation, I'm done, et cetera, et cetera. You're gonna go right here to learn your personal learning guide. I'm not gonna do this again because I've already did it, but basically you're gonna go through all of these career readiness, life factors, individual attributes, reading and recall, learning strategies, writing readiness, technology competency and usage, typing speed and accuracy. Math readiness, as you can see, it's a retake this section, retake this section, re I already took it. But I am going to show you the learning guide, basically. So, all of these things, mine came up with grow. For I ain't been, like, I ain't been to school in a long time other than just strictly nursing. And um, the only thing I really seem to need to sustain is technology. Like, well, I, I'm pretty good there. I could grow, I almost hit the map. I still remember my writing probably horrible. But this is what you do first. Your personal learning guide, okay? All right, let's X that out of there. All right, after you've done your personal learning guide, it's gonna say begin your orientation. Now specifically for RN to BSN, you're gonna click that right there and it's gonna take you through the orientation process, all these tabs, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So, module one, find help. Module three, let's go into the competency-based activities just to let y'all see a little bit more how this go. Not gonna watch the video again because I'm not gonna, you know, steal that stuff. But this is a competency-based education model which measures learning, not seat time. In the WG model, you can earn college credit, I'm gonna assume college towards your degree by demonstrating competency in the subject area for this defined by passing a final assessment called an objective assessment. So I'm gonna go show you what an objective assessment and the performing task, or it can be a combination. So I'm gonna show y'all where those at. And you'll earn some competency units. A competency is similar to traditional college credit, but it's about, based on time spent in the classroom, but it is earned by demonstrating your knowledge. So basically, I, I started with like statistics. I already know that I'm gonna do pretty good in statistics. I'm probably gonna breeze through that a week or two. I talked online with the lady. She was like, it take about three weeks, but I thought it's gonna take that. And they say you can, you know, you, you look, 
there's a good chance you, you might not pass your first and that's okay so you got plenty of time to take it plenty of time to take it okay i got to show y'all because specifically let's see it okay when you get the unit two specifically for the bsn to rsn or bsn or RN program specifically you're gonna go right here to module seven they got all different types of modules but you're gonna go there and you're gonna go through all this boom, boom, code of ethics, academic integrity and writing, employment, study schedule. You're gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna show you that too, the study schedule. You're gonna have to make your own study schedule and um, send it back in to them. That's even for you to finish it. So that's that. Basically, you're gonna go through all this unit. Let's see. Unit three, full-time enrollment, introduction to critical policies, assessments, and another unit quiz. But basically, okay, we're here to support you. Got that in another quiz. It's gonna be a whole bunch of quizzes. Overall, this might take you, if you just hit it and hold it, maybe two hours. Two hours is gonna take you. But they want you to spend more time than that, but you don't, it's totally up to you. It took me about two to three hours. I did it one night when I was at work. So you got the navigating and you're gonna get down to this. I think it's this last one right here, this unit test. Um, okay, unit nine right here. This how you, you, when you get down here, it's gonna get to your last one, your next step, see? You take that unit quiz and after you do this, you're gonna go back over here to your student portal. Down here, you have your performance assessment orientation. So, you're gonna, let's see here. Where is it? I don't even see it on here anymore. I, I definitely wanna show y'all that. That's very important. Very important. View task. Okay, you hit view task, and you're gonna see the task overview. Submissions, evaluation reports. And it's gonna, that's your rubric right here. You're gonna look at your rubric. And your rubric is gonna, I, I hadn't failed, and I don't know anybody that's failed my, myself personally, but I know it is definitely doable. Um, I have the template on my computer. If you look at this right here right now, this is pretty much the, this, this is what you gotta do. You gotta make your schedule, and you gotta answer all these questions, student name, ID, date, Da, 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 da. If you watch this video this long, if you get down in the comments and you tell me to shoot you mine, I will shoot you mine. All you would need to do then is plug your name and etc. etc. And look at how I did mine and just turn it around and just submit it yourself. You will make a hundred. And when you make that hundred, you'll come back over here and you'll see your past evaluation done. And after that, see so you go back to your degree plan. get back to your degree plan it keeps I don't know why I keep saying that it's been saying that for a while come on where is this okay see I have an assessment to do right now and, and, and I ain't even submitted it yet so basically I'm gonna get back with y'all but I wanted to show y'all when you're in the orientation for RIN to BSN program. What you need to do to get started so you can continue to get your BSN and you won't be like me confused as to what you need to do to start and what all you need to do to um, do your orientation. Um, it's not that overwhelming. Just get on and do it. My name is Akeem. Thanks for watching. And this is my spiel about it. I'm aiming for the six months. So if you like this type of content between here and the next six months, I will be working on my BSN and I hopefully want to get it did in six months. And I will do a video on every class that I take and give you some pointers and tips how, that, how I did it, how did I get past it, and etc. Okay? But I will do a final video when I finish and I get that degree, okay? Once again, thanks for watching again and I appreciate you. God bless you. Peace.